But we begin tonight with the Trump Organization convicted on tax fraud, a jury finding the company guilty on all charges today, including a scheme to help executives avoid taxes by compensating them with private school tuition, Manhattan apartments, and expensive cars. The defense blamed former company CFO Alan Weiselberg, saying he did it for his own personal greed. He'd been a loyal employee for years. Weiselberg had pleaded guilty and testified in exchange for a promised five-month jail sentence. The former president was not charged in this case, but his family business is now convicted on all counts. So what does this mean going forward? And tonight, the response coming in from the Trump Organization. Our investigative reporter, Aaron Katursky, leading us off from the courthouse here in New York. Tonight, the company that was the foundation of former President Trump's career and eventual rise to the White House, the Trump Organization, found guilty by a Manhattan jury on all 17 counts, including a scheme to defraud. That is consequential. It underscores that in Manhattan, we have one standard of justice for all. The verdict holding the company liable for the criminal conduct of its top executives, mainly Alan Weisselberg, the former chief financial officer who pleaded guilty to arranging some of his compensation off the books. The company paid for his apartment, for his Mercedes-Benz, and for his grandchildren's tuition, nearly $2 million in perks, none of it declared as income. Trump was not charged, and the defense said he did not know. But prosecutors said Trump sanctioned fraud when he signed off on part of the scheme. His initials on this memo okayed a salary reduction that prosecutors said cheated tax authorities. And they showed the jury checks Trump signed so Weisselberg's grandkids could go to an elite New York City private school. In their closing argument, prosecutors saying Trump was not blissfully ignorant. Uh, will certainly be appealing, of course. The trial pierced Trump's carefully honed image as a brilliant businessman. Prosecutors fought all the way to the Supreme Court to obtain his tax returns, revealing a string of losses, including a nearly billion-dollar loss over a two-year period while Trump was on reality TV selling his success. The Trump Organization called the verdict preposterous, saying the company could not be held responsible for an employee's personal actions. Turning on Weisselberg, a once-trusted confidant of the former president, writing, Mr. Weisselberg testified under oath that he betrayed the trust the company had placed in him and that he at all times acted solely for his own personal gain and out of his own personal greed. At sentencing next month, the company faces a $1.7 million fine, but long term the consequences could be more severe if no one wants to do business with a felon. And David, the Manhattan DA still has an ongoing criminal investigation that could result in an indictment of Trump himself. The New York Attorney General has filed a $250 million lawsuit, so the verdict today at this courthouse is not the end of it here in Trump's home, former home state. David. Our investigative reporter Aaron Katursky leading us off tonight. Aaron. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.